Okay, this video, what we're going to do is have a look at what we're going to need for a custom weapon. Okay, now if anybody, I've already got my package set up here. Yeah, now if anybody doesn't know on how to set up a or create a weapon to be imported into UDK. Uh, if you've got the trial version of Max or 3DS Max, go for it. In my U on my YouTube channel, look for the UT3 tutorials, and in there you'll find videos on setting up a custom weapon and exporting it and its animations from 3DS Max. Okay. Now, I'm just doing this off memory. I haven't got access to it at this moment in time, because otherwise I'd show you. But, right, so what do we need? Now, obviously, you're going to need a first person. Let's see if we can make that a little bit bigger. There we go. A third person, a, th a third, first person weapon, third person weapon. You're going to need your ammo, your materials your skeletal uh, static meshes for your for your ammo that doesn't look very pretty that does it now why is that all because it's black and white and not very well yeah 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 not a problem we can live with that anyway all right we've got the material set up same as any static mesh uh, the materials for your weapon now you might want to have a separate material for your third person mesh and a different one for your first person mesh. For these basic videos I'm just going to use the exact same ones because they're extremely small and simple. Uh, as you can see here the Geoshock first person is only 152 triangles and exactly the same for the third person. Now if you're doing your own stuff you probably want to have something a lot better than this okay this is just purely placeholder content to make sure my tutorial systems actually work now let's have a quick look here sometimes you have to double click on it now as you can see here it's straight in very simple the uh, let's click on the bones show skeleton show the names now uh, as you can see the base bone is at zero 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 very important okay because that gets attached to your, your mesh's uh, weapon bone or weapon socket and that's all done by code it expects it to be at zero zero now if you want it, the hand to be down here somewhere then put your root bone down there. Okay, I'm not really going to get into that at the moment. Very simple stuff. You can have lods if you want. I don't think it's really necessary for the weapons. What is important for the weapons is. Well, I can close this down. Oh no, get that back open. What are you on about? What you got to remember? Sockets. Sockets. The sockets. Now, here's me you being on the safe side. I've got two sockets on here, the MF socket and the muzzle flash socket. I'll show you why soon when we look at the code. Okay, you know how to add sockets. You should do by now. If not, we'll find the video. With a third person version, exactly the same. Same material. Check the sockets. Yet again, I've gone for the safe option of having both sockets on there. Now, you might ask where I get these names from. I'll show you in a minute. Okay, please be patient. So, that's the first person, third person mesh. Now, go into animations. This is get where it gets quite important when you're using the UT game code. Okay. Let's click on the animation. As you can see here, we're, we've got the animation K Geoshock. Now let me 
Uh, these things are so finicky. Let's move that down there. Move that down there. Right. Now, if you look at the UT shock rifle animations, you will find these animations. These names are called in the UT weapon code file. Yeah? That's why they're named as such. Because I don't want to be messing about with too much code. I use the exact same names. Okay? So you can use different animation lengths so long as you don't go OTT. Yeah. You know. So just try to keep it as it is. Uh, we're basically just copying everything from the uh, the shock rifle and all we're going to be doing is actually changing the mesh which is as about as basic as you can get but you've got to remember to do it this way you've got to use these animation names just to warn you off all right anything else we need in there eh, let's see eh, nah, not really let's let's get out of the editor for the moment and let's go into the code right first thing we're doing is ut anim anim ammo dc shock rifle where do i get these let's call them templates shall we you go into ut game classes all right now go like this here we go and ammo ut ammo shock rifle let's have a quick look at that have a look at mine see much difference Nah, not really just change your names right get rid of that one what about the other ones the attachment class and the weapon class well let's have a look here now we see an attachment for the link gun not for the shock rifle now if we go down here to the weapons uh, weapon 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 uh, link gun yep rocket launcher shock rifle base now what's that there for uh, not a lot in there mate so where are they well actually they have been moved into the UT game content folder set okay so let's just go in here let's see if we can find them they shouldn't be far away UT attachment shock rifle okay and let's go find the other one down the bottom UT weapon shock rifle now you might ask why I'm using the shock rifle and not the link gun to put it very very simply it's the easiest one to copy all right? and it's the one where you're going to make the least mistakes okay so what we're going to do all right, let's just have a look at the weapons first now I'm just swapping over here as you can see it's just a name change that's all now if we go down and down and down and down and down and down and down keep going keep going uh, we'll just go down to the default properties and you'll see in here first person mesh attachment class very important yeah third person mesh well that's a pickup mesh actually but you will use the third person okay and anims and uh, muzzle flash socket mf did you re remember we had the muzzle, fl muzzle flash socket in our mesh yes that's good and inventory groups blah 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 all the other stuff Re read through it see what it is all right player view offset very important fire offset very important if you are not seeing what you're supposed to be seeing all right remember the ut weapon shock rifle this is the first person view okay now you can change where your weapon will be sit, sat on the screen via this okay player view offset now let me just point something out very very quickly if your weapon is not showing in the first person view you can try 
changing the player view offset and if it's then sort of like pointing in the wrong direction you can rotate it under the first person mesh rotation and it says here your minus 16384 what on earth is that that is radians all right they don't work in degrees they work in radians and that is actually my minus 90 in degrees so uh, if you're not too sure get your math book out and look up what radians are okay right anything else we have to deal with in this now i can't remember whether it's this one or the attachment class let me just have a quick look uh, i think it's in the attachment class okay all right remember this stuff is purely the first person yeah the attachment the link to the attachment class and the pickup mesh from the weapon pickup factory now the attachment class what's this this is actual the the third person view okay this is the bit that deals with when the bot is running around with your weapon okay so we've got the first person and the third person okay so straight straight away we'll just go down to the default properties and go blah 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 yeah skeleton mesh yeah default impact effects yeah could be important bullet whip sound yeah muzzle flash muzzle flash socket muzzle flash socket hmm remember me saying that i was being on the safe side and having both mf and muzzle flash socket as socket names in my meshes yeah because these have been over the the period of udk been sort of like i won't say messed about but changed and tried to, to sort out other problems now if you look down here weapon class it points back to the ut weapon shock rifle so if you remember here right, where is it there we go attachment class pointing to the attachment class and the attachment class points to the first person class now how does that look on ours very simple exactly the same all right where are we here we go and again skeletal mesh anims I've removed I've edited out the rotation because I didn't need it for whatever reason whoever done the the shock rifle for epic probably didn't it did it in a different program so they had to rotate it. whatever okay third person view yeah uh, what else pick up there there was something else Pl fire offset that's yeah it sort of works uh, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, and that's all old stuff muzzle flash yeah yeah templates muzzle flash templates alternate colors duration things like that not going to deal with that as such uh, your weapon fire sounds uh, did they get they still get called in there yeah yeah they're still there because obviously my one has been done yonks ago and just double checking that it all still works all right private translation what you might find all right let's see if i can find it on here no i think it was actually in ut weapon if on the the pickup on the weapon factory it your weapon looks like it's sort of like wobbling round and you want to centralize it pivot translation yeah play around with the y value all right next thing that's about it for here next thing onto the attachment class this is where people get a little bit let's say i won't say lost because they don't actually know it but when they're trying these videos and tutorials for the first time 
they sometimes overlook a very simple fact that when they try to try their weapon they go oh the fire effect is not working from the end of the barrel all right you'll get the muzzle flash there but the actual beam is starting in the middle of the screen or in some cases I've actually seen it from the middle of the map now the reason for this is in your attachment class of the shock rifle you've got the simulate function spawn beam all right this is first person it's looking on where to actually start well if I read this correctly which I'm probably not doing very well but for you coders you know what all this is on about I hope but what it is it's looking for where on earth do I start the actual beam and what you have to do is in here now if, if I show you the shock rifle attachment class in here it's got the class UT weapon shock rifle now we go into our attachment class change that to UT weapon DC shock rifle okay so if your beam effect is not coming out at the right place make sure you've changed that there now what else we've got to do, deal with I've not changed any of this so we've just gone on to the GeoShot mesh the third person mesh in this case I have used the rotation to move it let's see if that probably find that this hasn't even got it so I'd expect whoever done the weapons the shock rifle had it set up correct to uh, work in the third person and they just rotated it via code for the first person in my case I've done it the other way around so we've had to rotate it your positive 16,384 radians okay and you can also scale it so if it doesn't look right you now I'm just getting away with using the same mesh because uh, I'm lazy and of course here yet again mu muzzle flash socket blah 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 right <sighs> are we there yet very very close people so what we're going to do is let's get in there get all the way up to the top I'm going to uh, get away I'm going to copy that I'm going to go into our DC death game where we've got the default inventory of being the UT weapon shock rifle I'm going to change that to be UT weapon DC shock rifle I'm going to save it just start the game and it'll ask us to recompile and go yeah 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 come on get a grip we haven't got all day and start the game again now I haven't obviously placed a weapons factory or ammo onto the the map yet but I'm sure these people already know how to do that I'm gonna have to have a look see, see how I can set the volume to be a bit lower because it's annoying me okay so here we go press fire what am I waiting for press fire to start Play. and there we have it our shock rifle now if I can get close to one of these guys he's holding it he's holding it right now. not bad eh do my ears in alright get out of there Exit, exit, game. Okay, and let's be honest, that's about it. It's a, a quick run through. If you've got problems, please post on my epic forum support thread. Okay, I haven't got... Uh, YouTube doesn't really like people posting links in, in things, so uh, ju just go on to the epic UDK forum i'm sure you've all found that by now 
and search for GeoDav and see what threads I've started. I think it's now under, oh God, what is it? Community questions and answers section. It's sticking right near the top. Okay, so I'll see you there and hopefully in the near future we'll be looking at some vehicles as well. Okay then, bye bye now.